Hey people, hey people, look at me. I'm the greatest gangster that you ever did see. Hey Boncho, hey Boncho, look at us. You ever see a Yakuza who's half as fabulous? Okay, uh, so this was the guy who was running to get supplies from the store. Uh, hmm, that boy on his ass. That's the fellow who was in a hurry to buy some lip balm. That's it, lip balm. That's what he wanted. Let's talk to him here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you down again? Oh, hi again. It's my feet. The pain's spreading and worsening. Man. Didn't I tell you to slow it down and walk? Yes, you did, but... I was in a hurry. I'm sorry. Sheesh. How chopped, how chapped were your lips? Ouch! Ow, ow, ow. My feet. Hey, you gotta, you gotta make it? Ugh. If only I had some medicine with me. Medicine, huh? Um, do I have medicine to hand over? Oops, ain't got nothing I can give the boy. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. All right, let's uh, go in and find some medicine. Hey guys, I'm the Comic Foil. This is some Yakuza Zero. Sorry um, if it's been a little bit. I'm trying to get this one out so that I only missed one day of uploading Yakuza, but it might turn out to be two given how much time I'll need to like, I don't know if I'm going to have time to edit it. Um, I'm going to get the Tarner because I think that's what I prefer to give him. I'm just grabbing a few other things here. Um, what else do we have? It's not like medicine is a different, like, very specific item, right? It's just the kind of medicine we use all the time as our consumable items, I'm pretty sure. You're very welcome. Yeah, so uh, the reason why I missed some uploads is because I managed to get Character Study 6 out. Please watch it. It took me basically four months to complete. It was a lot of hard work. Uh, hand over some medicine. What am I going to hand over? Um, I'm going to give him the Tarner because it's the cheapest. Here, drink this. It'll help. Pardon? Pardon? You mean I can have this? Huh. Yeah, it's all yours. Thank you so much. Whew, the pain's fading away. Thank you again. <laughs> Good to hear. By the way, did you get those chapped lips of yours taken care of? Cool. Pardon? My chapped lips? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What's not to understand? You're the one hauling ass to get lip balm. Were your lips about to fall off, or what? Oh, I see the misunderstanding now. It wasn't for me. I was rushing because the girl I like asked me to get it for her in a hurry. Oh, gotcha. You were doing your girl a, fa a favor earlier. Yeah, basically. I run errands like that for her all the time. <laughs> really? And you don't mind being her little errand boy? Go get me this, run out and get that? Not at all. She really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Errands are opportunities for me to get her to notice me. Uh-huh. I can't shake the feeling that this girl is just using him, but if that floats his boat, I ain't gonna rock it. And because I was so diligent about running errands, she's given me a nickname. When we first met, she just called me by my last name. I'm making headway. That's so? What'd she call you now? She calls me Aaron Coon. <laughs> like errand. <sighs> that ain't a nickname to be proud of. The girl's got a sharp sense of humor, and it cuts too deep. Listen, that nickname of yours, you do realize she's turned you into her personal servant, don't you? Oh. Huh? Is that really how it looks? But even if that were true, I still have a crush on her. That's all, that's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground, literally. That medicine's a nice quick fix for now, but I doubt you'll, you're all healed mm. up. Maybe you're right. I'll try talking to her. And see if she gives me permission to stop running errands for a bit. <sighs> He's not a quitter, I'll give him that. But if she wants anything, I've got to be the one who goes out and gets it for her. It has to be. Well, I should be going. Thank you so much again. Yeah, I mean, that seems like not really any of my business. <clears throat> Aaron Coon. 
I can understand wanting to impress the girl of your dreams, but don't let it turn into a nightmare. Alright, so let's uh, go around and see what else is happening here. Does that work? I'm not sure what Majima's catchphrases are. Hopefully I found something to use while editing this. So I think I found the shrine. Um, and you're the guy who gives away stuff that was originally DLC, right? It's me, Bob Tatsumiya Zero. Guess what I have for you? Yeah, what do you have for me? A certain Bori fun pack. Got the Hanya tattoo outfit, Toughness Emperor, Tarner Plus Plus, Stamina in Royale, Gold Plate. Uh, to change your outfit, use the phone in your hideout. It only works in Premium Adventure, and if you have the Dragon of Dojima pack or Soten Bori Fun pack, though, you're only getting this one, so take good care of it. Yeah, I wonder if it's... Um, this, I think, might only go to whichever character I pick it up with. I know with the CP that you earn, every time you earn CP, it actually doubles it and gives it to both Kiryu and Majima. That's what somebody told me in the comments. So, yeah, I should have lots of upgrades here. Um, gather more money from enemies, definitely. Uh, better value for your money when giving agents extra funds. Uh, weapon repairs cost half the original price. Um... Oh, oh, I had to do this, like, in order. Okay, so I'll do the, uh, Treasure Hunter booster, I guess. And then... Repair discounts? I really just want more of the Money Magnet stuff. Okay, and I'll, uh... Yeah, so I can dash for longer. That'll help me get around. Cool. Okay. Um... What is with the vending machines? Yeah, it's a dream machine. Insert 10,000 yen to make your dreams come true, maybe. Um, uh, sure. A Karakapa. That's, uh, one of the characters that shows on... Uh, sorry, lady. Uh, that's one of the characters that shows on the... Uh, karaoke game. Alright. And I'm gonna beat these guys up here. Uh, so yeah, Character Study 6 is out. Um, I implore you to watch it. I know it's a little bit long. Um, and maybe some of you guys prefer just, like, something easy you can listen to in the background rather than, like, a super analytical thing. But it's about, uh, Elizabeth Comstock from Bioshock Infinite. It gets a lot into, um, into existential philosophy and quantum mechanics. Um, the basic gist of it is going through the plot, explaining the plot of Bioshock Infinite, um, but from Elizabeth Comstock's point of view, it does contain spoilers of an eight-year-old game, but if you don't think you're going to play it or you have played it already, I think it's a really good watch, and it is just 100% me, and I really appreciate, because I worked very hard on it. Um, you can watch it, and even better if you could like the video and leave comments that I, um, so that I know what you thought about it. I love the feedback, and engagement is really good for ho hoping more people see it, because the most popular thing on my channel right now is the Persona Let's Play, which, you know, is great. I'm glad people like that. Um, but I think of the character studies as, like, the main feature of my channel, and I guess my subscriber base doesn't really feel the same way. Um, I just, I'd, I'd love to see those get more attention. Okay, um, let's get back to... Please let my daughter go. Who has your daughter? Oh, no! My daughter! Please let my Iori go. Eh, what's all this? Let her go. Your daughter is with us of her own free will. Your accusations have no merit. Oh no, it's a cult. You, you people duped my daughter into joining. You, you, fanatics. 
If you persist in your venomous blasphemy, I'm afraid that Sister Ayori will have to serve atonement for the sins of the mother. Uh, atonement? Our adherence to the pacifism makes the use of physical atonement distasteful. But it is, at times, a necessary evil. Now, would you please let us be? Yeah, cults are scary, man. Don't... don't mess. Ayori, what am I going to do? Alright, let's, uh... this isn't gonna stand. Ayori, what am I going to do? Oi! Couldn't help but overhear you giving lip to those pajama-clad screwballs. Something up? Pardon me? Uh, and you are? Nobody special. Like I said, it sounded like an argument, and I wanted to make sure you weren't in danger. So you're just passing by? You're not one of... them? That... that cult? Uh -huh. Cult? Mm. Yes. Those people I was talking to. Those people took my daughter, Ayori. What do you mean, took? Yeah, I mean, things like this are very real and very dangerous. So you're saying your daughter got swept up in the pajama party and hasn't come home since? Mm. Yes. I don't know who to turn... Uh, I don't know who to turn to anymore. How old's Ayori-chan? She's 20. Just a college student. 20, eh? She's ripe for the picking, then. Girls her age are looking for freedom, and they must have had it on offer. But Ayori isn't like that. She's been duped by those people. By that cult. Oh. You sure they're a cult? Not just a bunch of kooks in pajamas? I mean, what's the difference, right? Uh, yes. I didn't know anything was wrong until I got a call from school saying Ayori was missing classes. But she left home every morning, so I followed her one day, and that's when I saw her going into that cult's building. When Ayori came home, I confronted her about it. Rather than getting upset over my following her, she said, What perfect timing. You should join the Order, too. Hmm. I've never seen my daughter so vacant. She gets this faraway look in her eyes whenever she talks about this new obsession of hers. I'm sure they've got I'm sure they've done something to her. She also she's also been spending her money on these expensive amulets and statues. I told her she needed to get out of the, this cult. But she ain't exactly listening to reason, is she? Right. The next day the cultists just showed up and took my daughter away. They didn't resort to force, but they weren't going to leave without her either. I gotcha. I've gone to see them many times, pleading to see my Ayori, but they always turn me away at the door. I just recently lost my husband. If I were to lose my poor daughter now... Her daughter's caught up in some weird cold and she can't even see her. That ain't right. Um, Majima-san, was it? May I please make a request? Go for it. I guess I kind of stepped into this one anyway. If it's something reasonable, maybe I can help. Um, would you mind joining that cult for me? You want me to join him? What part of that's reasonable? Mm. Well, only disciples are allowed in. Joining them is the only way to get in. I would sneak in myself, but they know my face now. They would never let me pass the doors. I get it. Since they don't know me, I can join them and gain entry with no fuss. It sounds... it sounds logic, but... If you think I'm insane for asking you to do this, we only just met. I want my daughter back. Majima-san, please. Please help me. I will, of course, provide a reward of some sort. If you could even just tell Ayori that I want her to come home, even that will do, please. Yeah, can't say no now. <sighs> well, can't very well say no now, can I? But all I can promise is that I'll tell her to come home. You will? Oh, thank you! Majima-san, please be careful. There's no telling what what the Order of Munin Kotep Onast is capable of. Munan Kotep An Onast. <laughs> Munan Cha 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 what now? Uh, the Order of Munan... Oh, maybe it's Chohep. Onast. Uh, you must learn their name. If you can't even get that much right, those cultists will never trust you. Munan Chohep Onast. Uh, right. Odd name for a religion, though. Not really, but... Anyway, don't you worry. I got this. I'll sneak, the... I'll sneak my way in, make contact with Ayori-chan, and then sneak my way out. Thank you. 
Please take this Majima san. That was a weird way to take whatever that was. Received a handmade amulet. What's this? It's just a little charm I made to ward off evil. I think you may need it, Majima san, for protection. Heh, <laughs> hope it really works. Please, please find my daughter daughter Ayori. Alright, well let's um Okay, so that's like a key item, it's not like something I can equip. Alright, alright, alright. Um oh. And who are you, sir? Yeah, I think I'll be following that cult later. Right now we're more about accepting quests than finishing them. Hmm. I like how when you don't know somebody's name, it just describes them as, like, man standing quietly or something. Thinks of, like, some of the Marvel characters who are, like, he who waits at the end of time and stuff like that. The one above all. This guy's been staring at that mom and boy this whole while. Boom, blado. Oh, ball. Excuse me, can you throw me my ball, please? Sure, got it. Uh, wait, please. Hmm? That ball, may I... Huh? What? Can I have my ball, please? Yeah, come right up. Here goes. Whoa! Thank you. I guess I threw it. They just, you know, they didn't bother to animate it. I understand. There's like 120 sub-stories in this game. What's with this weirdo? Got pretty dejected all of a sudden. Is that your kid? No. Hey, what's got you down in the dumps? Did you want to throw the ball or something? Right. Yes, very much so. Surely you don't need to be that despondent over it. You're making me feel all guilty over here. I... I just wish I could have played catch with him. Even if it were just that one throw. Why him? Thank you for being so kind. Thanks for getting my ball. Uh-huh. You keep at it, kid, and you'll be in the pros. <laughs> Bye-bye, Vinsters. Is that, like, secretly your son? Bye-bye. I ain't old enough to be a mister. Yeah, what did we say you was? 26? That's old enough to be a mister, but, you know. Uh, what's the matter? Why are those two so fast fascinating to you? You have nothing to do with this. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Those two, they're my wife and son. Huh? What are you talking about? You're obviously just a random guy to both of them. It's because my wife and son can't recognize me. What? How's that possible? Six months ago, my face was, fur was surgically altered. Surgically altered? What for? I can't get into details, but it was Yakuza related. A little bit of trouble. Are you in witness protection, bro? A little bit? I'm not so sure about that. The real me is officially dead. Now I live as Kaigo Akatani, of the new face and identity. So you were forced into assuming another life? What's your real name? The man I was is now dead. Akatani is my real name now. I'm sorry. Man, that's complicated. Just imagine it, I can tell you it went through a hell of an ordeal. Yes. At first, it was a shock every time I saw this stranger's face in the mirror. There's no one in the world who could recognize me for who I was. That realization made me want to kill myself. I fought the urge for a long time, but then I remembered my family. That mom and boy? Yes. But I'm a total stranger to them now. The best I can do is watch them from afar, like you saw me doing. Can't you just tell your wife and son about what happened and go back to them? If only I could do that. The real me is supposed to be dead. I doubt they would believe my outlandish story. I mean, I guess I believe your outlandish story. Even if I could convince them, I don't know if they could accept me with a stranger's face. Besides, I'm deep in the underworld. Deep enough to attract the kind of trouble that makes a man change his face. Just by being around me, those two could be in danger. It's better that I just watch them from a distance. Gotcha. Man, now I'm really sorry I threw that ball back to your boy. Yeah. Please don't worry about it. I'll wait for another opportunity. It's gotta be tough for you. Take care, huh? Thank you. 
You're the first person I spoke with truthfully since my face was altered. If you don't mind, may I ask your name? It's Majima. It would be nice if I could chat with you again sometime, Majima-san. Well, I should be going. Okay. Is that like a friendship deal? Uh, no, I guess not. Sorry if I'm taking pauses, I'm drinking water. Gotta hydrate or dehydrate. Hey, a toilet. Do I gotta drain the tank? Uh, sure. <laughs> Better now than later. Alright, toilet side quest. Well, the toilet ain't exactly the model of cleanliness. The walls are covered with graffiti, most of it... Most of it gutter talk at best. Pretty sorry state of affairs. Huh? Some of this graffiti is done up in some real pretty handwriting. I'm very lonely. Please reply with a heart. Only a lady has handwriting this pretty. Who could have wrote this? And what should I do? Um, <laughs> sure, let's write a reply. I'll chat with you if you want. There. Is this a unisex bathroom? That'll do. Ain't right for a person to be lonely. So, is the, um... I must be nuts replying to some bathroom graffiti. Is the, uh... Oh, look at this dog! Little Shiba Inu. Oh, I love him. Oh, I wish I could pet the dog. These cats are alright, too. But, oh my gosh, this dog. Can I just go right back in? This is the toilet where I saw the graffiti. I must be nuts going along with this. Um, okay, I saw the exclamation point, but I think maybe the other quest is around the... Yeah, yeah, there's the cultists. I feel like the twist of that one is going to be that it is a guy writing on the bathroom wall who just has, you know, nice handwriting. Those pajama freaks are in the cult that Ayori-chan joined. I gotta join him to help out her mom. Uh, uh, sorry, I gotta answer my phone. Hang on. Hey, sorry about that. Sometimes, uh, being a supervisor at work means picking up the phone when you're not actually at work. Anyway, um, hey, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Man, don't the people at work know that I'm trying to join a cult? Yes? Do you seek something from us? To meet Ayori-chan, I gotta get into this cult. So... First, I gotta act like I really want to join. Um, okay, we gotta get the name right, which is Munan Chohet Onast. No. I want to join the Order of Munan Chohet Onast. Oh. Ah! You have come to embrace the divine magnificence of Munan Chohet Onast. Do you wish to become chosen? Absolutely, I do. Munan Chohet is where it's at. <laughs> Glory be! I can see you will be a most excellent disciple already. Right this way, please. Oh, that was the... Sorry, that was still the guy talking. The the girl gestured, so I just assumed she was talking. Alright. Where do they come up with this shit, anyway? I've decided that I'm just going to swear whenever there's, like... The, I mean, this is a mature-rated game, so, like, if they're swearing in the game... <laughs> if the game swears, I can swear. Thank you for committing yourself to our path. May I have your name, please? I'm Majima. Goro Majima. Ah, Brother Majima. Onast for... Onast for informing me. <laughs> they say Onast instead of thank you. Now, let's have you... Whoa. Hold up a sec. You just threw that psycho babble at me like I was supposed to know what it meant. Oh, Onast is the word we use to express the feeling of gratitude and appreciation. Uh, we already have a word for that, but... Onast to you, too. As I was going to say, Brother Majima, we will have you observe a portion of our activities today. You must observe with purpose. It is the first part of your training to, observe, to absorb our doctrine. It will be a test at the end as a measure of your faith. At least they ain't a pop quiz. Gotcha. Well, shall we be? Help! Help me! Help! Hey, what's all the racket? Nice blue converses, by the way. Apologies, brother. He is a debaser. Oh, not again. You must be more careful. We have a new recruit with us here today. Hey. Yes, 
I will call for a cha for a, a chastening. I thought it was like chat chastising, but chastening. N no, not that! Not a chastening! Have mercy! Whoa, whoa, hold up. That guy's scared shitless. I don't know what's going on, but maybe you could ease up on him? <laughs> Your concerns are unfounded, Brother Majima. That poor soul is racked by episodic outbursts of manic behavior. Outbursts, huh? Come, this way. No! I want to go home! Yeah, this is basically if they, like... They usually don't, like, physically constrain you, but they make it very difficult for you to leave, either by, like, some kind of weird obligation, and they treat it like it's for your own good. Please, pay it no heed. Let's continue. Okay, alright. Whoa, what do we got here? This is our prayer room. It is where we practice Shura Pippi. Hold up. You slip that sh Shura Pippi thing in as if it were the most natural thing in the world. What is it? Ah, but it is. Shura Pippi is... I like how they actually, like, recorded that as voice lines. Um, Shura Pippi is training to attain higher enlightenment in the path of Munan Chohetanast. Okay. Shura Pippi is training. Those engaged in Shura Pippi here are our latest recruits. As a collective, we refer to each other as friends. For the record, this kind of spiritualism isn't the problem, it's the weird way they force people to stay. Latest recruits, eh? And a lot of these kinds of things are actually just fronts to, like, build a community that serves as a, like, free labor workforce for something. Like, I bet they make something. That lady's lost daughter, Iori-chan, could be doing this Shura Pippi thing right here. Shura Pippi gives them focus. Through concentration, they accumulate Kulipas. You guys got a dictionary for all this? What's Kulipas? Hmm. Well, to put it in layman's terms, it can be considered a measure of virtue. As we accumulate Kulipas, the divine Munan Chohet shall bestow enlightenment and rapture upon us. Uh huh. <sighs> this is getting so old so fast. Oh, Sister Ayori san. He must sway more. Proper Shura Pippi is the path to enlightenment. Hey. Yes, Onast of your benevolent guidance. Oh, Onast for your benevolent guidance. Did he just call you Iori? Is that our girl? I'm sorry. I need a minute to help steer our friends towards the path of the just. B Brother Majima, please feel free to observe. Don't mind if I do. Here's my chance to see if that friend is our girl Iori, Sean. Yeah, I mean, like, meditation and practices like this aren't, like, absolutely nuts. Though it does look silly. No. <laughs> like, anybody who do does this, I want you to know I respect your spirituality, but I also think you look very, very silly. Hey, sister. Sister, that guy called you Iori, right? Ignoring me, huh? Guess she wants to concentrate on her Shura Pippi thing. But I gotta see if this girl's really Iori-chan. What'll I say to her? Um, crack dumb pun, call her Iori. Claim to be Munanchohet. <laughs> oh, boy. It's pretty stupid. Um... Okay, so the last time I picked what I thought would be the more fun option, and it wasn't that much more fun, like, like calling for the outrageous tax hike. Um, don't know if claiming to be Munan Chohep, though, would be, like, too much. But I don't see why a dumb pun would snap her out of this. And I believe in the power of puns, but... Yeah. I mean, Majima isn't a reverend guy. We're just gonna go for it. Claim to be Munan Chohet. Maybe if I name drop their god, she'll be op open to listening. Worth a try. Munan Chohet, am I mortal? 
I come bearing grave tidings. Huh? What? Blast me? How dare you take the blessed name by our ma name of our master, the great Munan Chohet. Whoa, she got totally steamed. Still. Finally got your attention. You're Ayori-chan, ain't you? What? How do you know my name? Yeah, I think that works. Bam. This girl is the lady's missing daughter. Ayori-chan, listen up. I got a message from your mom. My... mom? Yeah. She asked me to get in here and tell you to come home. M mother Mother. <laughs> mother, mother, mother! Mother. What the? Uh, Ayori-chan? <laughs> Uh, mother, my head, it hurts. Uh, hey, what's wrong? Snap out of it. Brother Majima, what is going on here? You must not disturb our disciples in Shura Pippi. Uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Sister Ayori-san, are you well? Y yes, I think so. Brother Majima. Please be careful when speaking to fellow disciples. Our friends are purging memories of family and their worldly ties to attain spiritual purity. Say what? Purging memories? Yes, as a rule, our disciples undergo a mental cleansing process so that they may better dedicate themselves to Shura Pippi. B but that's... Ahem. My friends, I ask for your attention. Today, our guru has come to inspire us in our climb toward even hi ever higher states of enlightenment through Shura Pippi. Ooh. Friends, our spiritual leader, Guru Munan Suzuki. My disciples. Munancho. Okay, okay, alright. I like the choreography. You too, Brother Majima. Uh -huh. Wait, the hell is a moon nacho? See, here's the thing, though. Because um, I've watched documentaries about Scientology cults and stuff like that before. And part of what they'll do to, like, win over skeptics, and this is actually, like, very effective, is, like, even if you come in being, like... Like, I don't believe in this. It'll be like, okay, that's fine you don't believe in it, but just um, out of respect for us, can you please just say the mantra anyway? It's okay if you don't believe it. And you do. And then they'll keep like, well, uh, while you're here, just like pretend to observe our customs. Or just like, hey, just for fun, just say it. And before you know it, you're getting pressured to follow along until you start thinking following along feels normal. They kind of like slowly chip away at your will. Munchacho is our word of greeting. Incidentally, our word for farewell is Hepton. Brother Majima, please. Um, say it with the pose, just say the word, or refuse. So I just want to refuse because I know how this works. Three demerits. Huh? Okay. Glory be, a most splendid greeting. Our savior and master, Munan Chohept, is most pleased. Oh, I had no idea I was physically it was physically possible to be this phony. This is actually kind of impressive. So, friends, tell me, how much titherance have you all contributed to the exalted Munan Chohept? I have con I have contributed five Rincho. I have done better at eight Rincho. Tithrance is what we call a, t a teeth. Uh, okay. I was just about to ask that. So how much is a rincho worth? One, oh, 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 like a offering, yeah. One rincho is a hundred thousand yen. hundred thousand? These disciples are kicking up that much to the order? It was about to say cold. It is all a process of greater enlightenment and joy. When one is bound by chains of gold, there can be no freedom. Renouncing our possessions is the first step to the rapture. I mean, there is something to be said about, like, giving away earthly possessions. Um, that's just not something I would do very much. I'm kind of more of the mind that, like, I'm only here on Earth for a limited number of time, and I'm going to 
enjoy what the Earth has. Don't think I need to rush my way to any other existential plane. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> um, no matter how phony it is, thought it'd be okay if it made people feel better, but damn. They're just straight up stealing from these suckers. Well, and that's the crazy thing, is they're not, because people are offering it willingly. <laughs> ah, so much Titherance, glory be. Oh, Nost, my friends. Like, legally, it would be very hard to indict these people. Oh, sister. Ayori-san, was it? You appear somewhat pale. Are you feeling quite well? Hi. Yes, I'm fine. Oh, Nost, for your kind concern, Guru. Yes. Incidentally, Ayori-san... How much titherance have you tend tendered towards your enlightenment? I... I haven't been able to put together enough money yet. What? A false friend! Such a shameful lack of faith. I beg for your forgiveness. Shame. But friends, do not chastise our sister Ayori-san. We all have worldly excuses that weigh us down. Guru Mun Munan Suzuki. You must understand, Titherance is an especially valued form of Shura Pippi. If you alone are lacking in Rinsho, Sister Ayori-san, your Kulipas will be stunted. Oh, no! What can I do? Ugh, Titherance is a donation, Shura Pippi is some kind of meditation, and Kulipas is what now? God damn it, I can barely keep this gibber straight. Sister Ayori-san, I... I am happy to observe, observe that you are blessed with divine physicality and transcendental beauty. Engaging in special Shura Pippi with me can put things to right. Special Shura Pippi? Guru, it is an honor. I don't like the sound of that. The most sacred form of Shura Pippi. It bestows enormous kulabas. We shall experience it together shortly. Go and cleanse your body of impurities. Rapture awaits. I shall, Guru. Hepton. Oh, Hepton, friends. Please continue with your Shura Pippi. Onast! <laughs> oh, dear. Where's Ayori-chan gone to? I know not the details, but it is among the most sacred of Shura Pippi. The disciple becomes as one, body and soul, with our guru. I mean, you know, Occam's Razor what that is. Become as one, eh? It is a special Shura Pippi, allowed only to women, and even among them, only to the Chosen. If I were not a man, I wish I could partake to in its grand glory. This bogus guru is not only siphoning money, but he's got his pick of the girls. How do these pajama twits not get wise to this scam? Probably. See, the mistake this disciple's making is teaching it all to Majuba at once, because what they do is they, like, show you the nice parts first and, like, slowly reveal they like normalize their dominance first and then they slowly reveal the weirder aspects of the cult but by that point you feel like you're in for a penny in for a pound you know her mom only wanted me to get a message to Ayori-chan so I'm technically done with what I promised to do but now Ayori-chan's in real danger so screw it I'm extending my membership your tour is over brother Majima it is time for your test my test Hold your damn horses, I ain't got time right now. Are you sure? By demonstrating you have learned the ways of the Order, you may earn a blessing in person from the Guru. Say what? You mean I can meet the old Guru if I do good on your test? You're on then. Very well. It will be a simple oral exam, a quiz, really, to determine how attentive you were during your tour. For sure. The first question, then. In the order of Munan Kochet Onast, oh, of Munan Kochet Onast, what do you say to express our gratitude? You say Onast. <laughs> Molte grazie. Um, Onast. Splendid. Correct, Brother Majima. You have learned from our tour. Piece of cake. You'll have to do better than that. Your second question. What do we call the training we undergo to accumulate Kulipas? Uh, sure a pit. B, sure a pip B, sure a pippy. Wonderful. Correct. You have practiced proper sure a pippy even during your brief tour. Very impressive. For sure. I'm the sure a pippy king. Third question. Mun Munacho is our greeting in the order of Munan 
Chil Chilhet Onast. Please demonstrate it. Oh boy. <laughs> I want to do the hustle, but no. Um... Yeah, it's the same thing they're doing right back there. Um... Right? They, they showed it to me. They stopped and showed it, but like they did have their... No, they were doing little circles though too. It's a little vague, but I think it's circle with the left... I mean, it was sort of both of these things and not quite either. Do they mean... Is is the trick that this is what Shura Pippi is and this is what they were doing with Hello? Dang it, I wasn't thinking hard enough. Um, uh, circle with the left hand and bring the palms together. Yeah, that looks right. Excellent! Truly a textbook example of Munancho. Ah, that was a close one. Heh, <laughs> I got the moves. Very well, the final question. Do you remember the name of our guru? Uh, Suzuki. Or Suzuki. Uh, Mono Suzuki, right? Bravo, correct. Perhaps it was too easy a question. You think? He's, uh, larger than life. With that, we are done. Your test is at an end. Splendidly done, Brother Majima. You scored a perfect 4 out of 4. It speaks to your attentiveness during your tour. Someone of your caliber may even qualify as a leadership candidate. <laughs> I wonder if they background checked me yet. <laughs> Figured out how much money I have. Would they want Majima a lot, or would they be able to figure out that he's connected to the mob and be like, Oh no, get this guy out of here. Yeah, <laughs> Muna Majima's got, the nice, got a nice ring to it. Mother Majima... I can find no fault with you. You are worthy of receiving our guru's benediction in person. Follow me. I will show you our guru's quarters. Hope Iorachan's still okay. Okay, um, I guess I'm gonna just finish out this storyline. I was gonna end soon, but I kinda wanna see this through to the end. Uh, Goro Munan Suzuki, please excuse us. Ah, is that our new friend candidate? What was it? What was it now? <clears throat> it's it's brother Majima. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> he wouldn't have said it that reverentially. He'd be pleased to meet you, because that's just Majima. Brother Majima is a rare find, an extraordinary individual. Guru, he is most worthy of your divine benediction. I see. That is music to my ears. I have matters I must attend to, so let's not waste any time. There. You have my blessing. Thanks. Kind of looks like you said hello to me, but... <laughs> I got some crystal. I do like crystals. That looks like a quartz. That looks like just a quartz. You call this stuff your blessing? Is there a problem? No, I suppose not. Guru, excuse me. Ah, Ayori-san. You have readied yourself for Shura Pippi? Hey. Yes, Guru. I have cleansed myself thoroughly. I am a vessel for your special Shura Pippi. Excellent. Since I already performed your benediction, benediction, both of you should leave at once. Captain! Alright, end of the road. If I don't stop this now, this Shura Pippi piss ant's gonna have his way with Iori Shan. Shura Pippi with me instead. I am Muncho Hept. Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. Uh, oh boy. These are all great. I like all of these. Um. Okay, this one's hilarious, but no. Um, Shura Pippi, me instead, is also hilarious, and I feel like would most start a fight, I feel like that's the most antagonistic. Um, but I feel like the emotional thread of this is to say your mom's gonna be heartbroken. Ayori chan, you're being conned. Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. Mom? Because I know this works, this like sends her into a crisis. 
whenever she thinks about her. <laughs> Who's... Mom, my head! It hurts! You can't forget your mom, Ayori-chan. They might have messed with your memory, but you gotta remember the woman who raised you. Stop it, Majima-san. Awakening the memories of friends is a sin beyond all sins. Shut your face, you damn phony. Ayori-chan, snap out of it. I'll take you home to your mom. <gasps> what is mom? Ah! Uh... Oh, this... It's... my mother's amulet! Oh. How, how did that fall out of my pocket? Oh well. Ayori-chan, do you remember now? I, I don't know. But why did I ever think I wanted to become one with this shady old hippie? You're thinking straight now, at least. Ugh. This woman has ripened. Mine for the plucking. How dare you interfere! Ooh. Yeah, I've been waiting to punch this guy's face in. Guru Moon on Suzuki? See? There's your snake oil shilling fraud showing his true colors. Guru Pajama Pants has been milked all of, has, has been milking all of you? Is that it? Silence! Alright, let's freaking go. Oh! I love your battle stance though, dude. Oh! Oh, he's tough! Oh, shoot! Um, I think this is actually gonna be pretty big boss fight, actually. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna be, like, a hard boss fight, but it is, like, a notable boss fight. There's too many walls here. So... Oh my gosh! I'm getting sure pwned There's my heat action. Thank you. Man, what a, I want to use, like, items on him. Okay. Yeah, I lost my heat actions. He's good. He's good. He's he's very real about at least the the like martial arts mysticism of it. There we go. Oh, uh, this is gonna be down to the wire. Doesn't have to be though. I can still use items. No, 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 no. Oh, I want to do it without items, though. Yeah, there we go. Uh, sorry, I was determined for that one. Ugh, such pain. How many broken bones do I have? Guru, we heard terrible noises. Is everything all right? Friends, quickly, you must call me an ambulance. Our guru is gravely injured. We must perform the ritual of healing for him. Everyone! Moonan! Ugh, no. You dipshits. Waving your hands around at me won't fix anything? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice, uh, karmic punishment there. Somebody help me! I was... I was like that too, wasn't I? Ayori chan we should get you home. Right. I'm, but I'm sure this didn't kill him. I'm sure somebody called him an ambulance eventually. Ayori? Mom! Are you done with that crazy religion? Yes. I'm over it. Wow, Mom going right for the throat on that one. Could start with like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. Mom, I... I wanted to bring Dad back. What? Ever since Dad died, you haven't stopped crying. But there was nothing I could do for you. That's when they told me the dead could be brought back to life. I just had to do these rituals and earn a few spirit points. I should have known how insane it was. I guess I just got caught up with that cult scam. So that's why. I don't know now that... But I know now that if I followed those terrible people, I'd be leaving you all alone. And that's even worse. I'm so sorry. No, I should be the one saying sorry, Ayori. 
I didn't know how much anguish I was causing you. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Majima-san. I only asked you to deliver a message, but you got my daughter back. I can never thank you enough. <laughs> no problem at all. I'd say I got a pretty spiritual experience out of it, too. Majima-san, please take this as our thanks. It seems hardly of any value for all that you did for us, though. Um, you got a traveler's amulet. Cool. Oh, right, Ayori-chan. I gotta give this to you. Mother's amulet? Yep, the handmade amulet. This, it's mom's. The amulet totally worked, you know? After all, you got some free pajamas out of it, Ayori John. You hold on to that amulet and let it protect you. You and your mom. Keep the family together, will you? Hey. I will. Majima san. Mm hmm? What's up? Thank you. You saved us. <laughs> it's all good. Aw, uh, Majima's a good guy. Alright, and he's also a very beat-up guy, so let's, uh... Yeah, maybe we'll find a place to eat. No, we're limping. We gotta take something right now. A uh, little, little health boost. Will that be enough to get me walking normal? Yeah. All right, and then we'll go find a place to eat. I'm the comic foil, and um, I want to check in on the bathroom again. This is the toilet. Uh, check this out again. Man, I'm tempting fate with this, dude. Why am I? Why do I try to make episodes so long? This might turn into a whole freaking thing. What's wrong with me? I offered to chat with the lonely. I offered to chat with the lonely lady who's been writing graffiti on the toilet wall. Hey, there's some new writing under my reply, and it's the same handwriting. What do you like? She wrote back. Guess you can't ignore the networking potential of public toilets. So, what do I write? What do I write in reply? Um, I wear a suit at work. My physique's the real deal. I'm a sex crazed perv. Um, well, that's just not true. I wear a suit at work. I get. I wear a suit at work. There. Just tell them like it is. That ought to do. Okay. I'll drop by and see what she says. If she says anything back to me later. Oh, it's definitely a dude. But anyway, I'm the Comic Foil, and I will catch you next time. Majima needs to get some food.